Hi guys, it's Angie Bell with My Fairy Treasures. Okay, what I want to do is I want to share um, my new uh, pink uh, traveler's notebook, my planner, my Fodori, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> um, so let's just get right to it. Um, what I did was, uh, you guys know I had made my last one out of a placemat, um, a placemat that I had gotten at Walmart, and it looked like real leather and it was dark brown. I loved it. But I wanted something else, and so I decided I had a pink purse that I wasn't using anymore. And I that's the leather that I use. And I think it's real leather too. I got it from the thrift store. Um, and I absolutely love, I love the color and I, I want a pink planner. So I cut that up and I have a bunch left over so I can even make another pink planner, um, which would be great to give as a gift or something. Um, I love this. This right here is just a piece I got from the Dollar Tree. I like the bling on it from to keep it closed. Okay, and then um, on the side, I um I already had made this bobble, which I think went, went perfect with it. The bobble was um on another journal. I think my botanical tea journal, and it fell off. So and I put it aside, and I was gonna put it back on, but I thought, you know what, this is perfect for this one. So I'm using it, and it's great because it's an altered um domino, and the little girl's in black and white, but all everything is like highlighted with pink, like her little shorts and her little hat. So it goes perfect. And then there's a bunch of pink on here. And there's little teapots and there's pink and pearl and a little bit of, you know, it just, it just goes perfect. Okay. So let's get into it. Let me see really quickly, you guys, if I can lay my camera down. Let me see if I can lay my camera down or lay, not lay the camera. What am I saying? Lay my book down and you guys can see it from there. Yeah. It's not a good view. Okay. That's what I thought. I'm going to work on that, you guys. I need to do something so that I can have, like, an overhead view. So I'm working on that. If anybody has any ideas, let me know. I'm so tired of showing, like, my journals and having to have them vertical. It's such a hassle. Okay. Let me go down a little more. All right. I wish I could get a little closer, you guys, but I can't because then um, I'll get my book will be out of frame. So anyway... The first page here, when you open it up, um, this is like a little folder that I like to make these little folders and they tuck in between the, the first signature, the beginning and the end of the first signature. So um, I decorated the folder with just things that I love and make that are just happy. This right here is my homemade washi tape. So whenever I have paper left over, I will cut it up into strips and use it for faux washi tape. So I get my own little washi tape. And what's nice about that is it can match exactly your project because you're using your own um, scraps left over. So hey, this is a, um, a piece I got, I don't know. Oh, this is a packaging piece from, um, was from Disney, like some pens and stuff. And I like this, so I cut this out. This is a doily and then some stickers, which I got from Dollar Tree. Actually, I didn't get these stickers from Dollar Tree. I got these stickers from, um, last year I bought Valentine's cards that were, um, that were uh, Tinkerbell and all her little, her little fairies. And um, the stickers came in that, so. And then that came with a bunch of cards that I use now, too, in my planner and, and other things. Okay. That is driving me crazy right there, but we'll deal with it. Okay. All right. All right, so here we go. Okay, so this is the inside of that. It's the pocket. And in the pocket, I have some really cute pens. I love this really pretty pink one. This is the Coming for the Cure, if that's how you say it, pens from Dollar Tree. And I thought they were so pretty. The Supporting the Cure and also love the pink pen. This one is a um, Tinkerbell pen, which I absolutely love. I thought they go perfect. I'm totally into Tinkerbell. I love Tinkerbell. My last name is Bell. I've always loved Tinkerbell. And I've always loved Disney and Disney characters. So this is really decorated with a lot of that kind of stuff. Um, in here, this pocket, I keep my list of my, uh, bills that I have to pay. Um, I also keep this, I mean, I don't have it in here cause I don't want to show people all my credit cards and all that, but I keep, um, I also keep receipts and money. I keep a couple of these and these have like my license and my credit cards and all that. So this can also act as my wallet. Then I also have, all right, do this one handed. Okay. Then also I have. Uh, bookmark that I made, which I think came out really cute. Kind of bent it. I don't know how I bent that. Anyway, it's not cute. It's macaroons. I am obsessed with macaroons. 
love them. And then I have a little pad of paper in here so that I can make my list. And the pad of paper is really pretty. I got this from Dollar Tree. Isn't that pretty? And then I keep receipts in this pocket and everything. So anyway, I can keep all, I can keep everything together. I have my list to get, I have my list here, my pens, my bills, um, my credit cards, my ID. So everything's in one place. I really, really like that. And then I made a little dashboard. Um, this is uh, mainly the paper line I used in this was Tea Party by Craftsmith. And I will show you guys that paper line. It was that one of the $5 paper lines, but it was the most beautiful one. I finally found it. After a year, the second time it goes on sale for five dollars, so I picked up like three packs. Um, that's what the that's what this signature's made out of the first signature, and then this is another page, another uh, pinch from Pinterest. I got these macarons. Love this picture, isn't this just precious? So all the pictures of, of anything like this I got from Pinterest, and I made and I put this through a laminator. So I made this a dashboard and I attached all the sticky notes, which I got these at Dollar Tree. I love them. Look, it's all the Disney characters, and then that I got Dollar Tree also. I don't know, because this one is not staying together very well, so we'll see what we're going to do about that. Okay. Next is, okay, and then this is, the first one is my calendar for the year. So I copied everything out on um, pink cardstock, um, and where I got this original, like the um, calendar and um, any of, like, the calendar p uh, pages, um, the, it was a lady, I can't think of what, oh, Marion Smith, thank God I remembered. Marion Smith, and she called it a life journal. Well, I did that a couple years ago, so I'm still using those same inserts for, like, your calendar and your schedule and all of that. So um, if you like these pages, you can always go to her life journal and download those. I don't know what it costs a certain... I'm not sure exactly what it costs. I can't remember. But it was reasonable. Um, so here I just decorated my... I decorated um, October. Um, this is my homemade washi tape. It's some paper, the sparkly car suck I had left over. Um, and then I ran this through my brother's scan and cut and cut out about a hundred of these little flags. So I could put a flag here at the top. These are my homemade paper clips. I think these are so cute. Check these out. And what makes them so pretty is they're done on gold, a gold paper clip. I will do a, um, and they also act as a, um, as a, um, bookmark. So I love those. Even though you'll see bookmarks all the way throughout this whole thing, I still um, use those also as bookmarks because they're pretty. Um, and so then I cut out a bunch of these hearts again for my brother's scanning cut. I cut out a bunch of teapots and hearts and teapots, teacups, hearts, and more teacups, more homemade washi tape. So so much stuff I made myself. And I got so many ideas from other girls on YouTube, but... Um, but some stuff, I, you know, I bought stickers. I've bought a lot of stuff, but there's a lot of stuff you can just cut out um, with your dies or your brother's scanning cut or your silhouette or whatever you have. So just an idea. Okay, so I didn't do, let me take these off. I didn't do uh, November's yet, or maybe I did. Oh, okay, I wrote it out. I wrote November out. I just haven't, um, I haven't decorated yet. So I will decorate November here shortly. But what I do like about these, um, about these, um, sticky notes, um, is that you can take it off of your, um, that one page I had showed you guys. And, um, if you have something in November or, or December and you haven't filled out, you know, that month yet, you can always, um, just put a sticky note there. So when you have filled out the date or you know what's going on or you know the date, then you can write it in. But it's just like you can stick your little reminders in those months with the sticky notes. I just think that's really cool. Um, okay. So this is the end of that signature and I ended with that with that paper again. Isn't that paper just gorgeous? I love it. Let me make sure there's nothing inside there. Okay. So oh it doesn't end there. I lied. It ends with the other part of this. Okay. Remember at the beginning we had this? This is at the end of it. So it goes in between the whole signature. This is so hard to hold up like this. Oh my gosh. Okay. One thing I want to do is make sure I am in frame still. Yes, I am. Thank God. Okay. And I'm going to try to come in a tad bit closer. Okay. 
Okay, so it's just one more pocket left at the end, and I just put in, uh, this is another one of those things I could put more credit cards and stuff in it. I actually have some index cards in here. What I use these for is when I'm out and about and I have to wait, I can do some Zentangling. I like to Zentangle. Okay, so that's the end of that signature. The next signature, I did another dashboard, but this time, and I used those, um, uh, Pinterest picture, which is macaroons. But I didn't, um, I didn't cover this. I just wanted to see the pretty macaroons and the pretty flowers. I think it's gorgeous. Again, um, one of my favorite papers from that um, tea party line, all the pretty teacups. Love, because you guys know I love tea and teacups and teapots. I collect all that kind of stuff. Okay, the next thing I did is, this is what I like to do. I like to have a work off a calendar. So I look at my calendar for the day. Do I have anything? And if I have things that I have scheduled, I write them here on my list of my, my to-do list for the day. Um, and I write any shopping I need to do over here, or I use my pad of paper that's in the beginning for, for my list, either way, as far as my shopping list. So I, I, what I like to do is I don't really like to work with um, where you have to write down at 7 o'clock, I'm doing this at 8 o'clock, because my life isn't like that. If I have an appointment that day, it'll be one appointment. The rest is, you know, open, which is the reason I need to organize, because, you know, your day would just, you know, fly right by you. Um, so I like to work from a list. So after I look at my, day, my calendar, then I write everything down I need to do for that day and check it off. Love doing that. Here's, if I come out with some groceries I need to get, I list that there. Or um, craft, craft, uh, craft list also. Every day I like to, <clears throat> and if not, I can journal. Okay, this page side here, I can journal here, or I can do a little quick art journaling. I've cut out a bunch of these pieces like I told you. I cut out. I'll show you guys that. I did my own little, I call it a little pink planner kit, and I created my own. I bought a bunch of stickers. I bought a bunch of stuff, yes, but then I cut a bunch of stuff out for my brother's scanning cut. And um, like the little teapot and the heart, and then I um, embossed it, this little teacup. And so really quickly, in five minutes, I can do a quick art journal page. Or I can um, journal on this because there's lines here. Or I can, I can journal and I can do a little art journaling. So anyway, that's what I did on this page. This is from Botanical Tea. This is some, t some different washi tapes from Dollar Tree. I guess fake washi tapes. Let me show you another page I decorated. Um, again, I listed what I need to do for the day. And then this, um, I love the Disney princess. These are some circles I cut off from my brother's scan and cut. And then I made them into little balloons by putting the little strings on. I think that turned out cute. Um, again, list of what I needed to do for, the, for that day. And then this is a 3D. Isn't this so cute? love this. It's like 3D uh, sticker. And I got this at Dollar Tree. I picked that up. I was like, I got two of them. Love them. Again, those little balloons I cut out, which is little circles um, from my brother Scan and Cut. Little Disney sticker, little um, Tinkerbell stickers and her friends. And more down there. And then there's Tinkerbell and all her friends. Okay, did I decorate any more? Yeah, I did. Okay, again, my list for that day, which is this, this is today. Yeah, because I had to go to the dentist. Um, and I think this turned out so pretty. This is some paper. This isn't from, this isn't from that tea party line. This is some paper I had in my stash, but I love, I love the, um, the polka dots against the stripes. I think that looks really cool. And then I did the stripes going opposite way. So this goes this way. Then I, um, back this picture with stripes going this way horizontally. So vertical against horizontal and then the little bubbles. I think it turned out really cute. Again, another little Disney. I think these are the Valentine cards. Yeah, these are the Valentine cards I got. And I think this one says Val Happy Valentine's at the top. So I put the stickers there on top. Just because I love the little images. I love her. She's my favorite uh, Disney character. My hair is kind of wild like that. So I have extensions and my hair is kind of wild like that. I love it. So now this one is, I just went ahead and got a head on my um, little art journaling pages. So I did this one. This was the, okay, I, I got those um, Valentine cards like I told you. Well, I cut the, on the box was this. So I cut the box, cut them out of the box that those Valentine cards were in, that the Tinkerbell Valentine cards were in. And then this is my homemade washi tape. And I, it's not really tape here. I just bordered. I just used leftover paper and made a border around it. And then little hearts that I punched out, out of my uh, brother's scan and cut. I shouldn't say punched out. I cut them out. Okay, so this is what it looks plain, okay? So I go to my calendar, I write my list of what I need to do today, any shopping that I need to do, and then here I can either journal, so you have the lines, you have the journal lines, or I can do some art journaling or a mixture of both. Or do nothing if I don't want to do anything for that day. And um, 
the pink paper that I cut this, I did this on, I printed this on, um, I got a great deal. I bought this last year. I bought um, a pack of 200, um, like, it, uh, I think like Office Max. So look out for that. You know, like when they're selling those for like five bucks or like two, a two, big 200 pack, um, pick those up because, you know, you can use that paper in your scrapbooking, but then you can use it in like, you know, printing off for your journals. So anyway, just printed off a bunch of those. And that's the end of that. Look how pretty that paper is. Love. Okay, now this is my phone book, the next um, signature. I'm not going to open this up because the last time I did, I showed an address, a phone number. It wasn't, uh, anyway, I don't want to do that again. So I'm not opening this up. There's phone numbers in here. But what I love is I love the paper. It's gorgeous. Again, that paper line is from the Tea Party. This was from my last planner, so I ripped it out. So I love this pink, uh, this pink old-fashioned telephone booth. Um, I got it from Pinterest. Isn't it so cute? I love it. Okay, so let's get going to the next signature. So that's my phone book. So I made my own little phone book. I told you guys I wanted to have everything in one place. I absolutely love it. So now I also have a phone book in here. Look at the back of that paper. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, so my last signature, let me make sure I'm in frame. My last signature, I love this paper again. Same paper, Tea Party. Um, so pretty with the bird cages. And this right here is, okay, yeah, I remember. This right here is, um, well, let me show you these really quick. These are pretty. These are uh, bookmarks that I made, more bookmarks. It's just paper, leftover paper, and I run it through a laminator. And then this is some sparkly paper that was left over. So we have those. And then, um, again, this is from Marion Smith, um, this printout. And in the life journal that she had you make, um, she also had a thing where you do recipes. So I want to do a recipe a week, and I haven't done my recipe of the week for this week yet, but I want to start doing that and make at least one dish, a healthy dish, new every week. So I can start eating, you know, so everybody wants new dishes. So I thought that's a great idea. Then in the middle of here, this looks like it doesn't match because it doesn't. This was also... Um, this is from my last journal, this right here. And it's a bunch of like YouTube ideas or any ideas I come up with. Um, so, and I didn't want to have to like copy them all over again. So I just stuck them in this section. So it's my ideas and also my recipes in this last one. So that's why it looks like that. And that's the end. And then that's the pretty paper again. So you guys, I absolutely love how this turned out. Let me just, I'm just putting it all back together. I love how this turned out. I love my new pink planner. I'm so excited. You guys, if you guys have a, a you know, a, a jacket, a purse, whatever, and you're about to throw it away, double think that and um, double, uh, let me just hold on to it. Double think that and uh, make yourself um, a planner out of it or a fedora instead of, you know, throwing that away or giving it away. So, oh, I mean, if you really want to give the jacket away or whatever, give it away. But, I mean, if you're going to throw, if you... If you want, you can go ahead and recycle some of that type of stuff. So, anyway, I absolutely love it. Love how it turned out. Um, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Also, um, if you haven't subscribed to my station, I'd love for you to do so. Oh, there is one more thing before I start all that. Remember I told you I would go over that the paper line. Sorry. Okay. So, let me show you guys what that looks like so you guys can see. Isn't that gorgeous? This is the Tea Party by Craft by Craftsmith. And if my uh, if my um, what was I gonna say? If my camera goes off, you guys, there'll be a part two. Just go to part two because it happens after 20, 25 minutes. That camera just goes off. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna go over it really quick with you guys. Look how gorgeous that is. I love it. Let me make sure my camera is down. Nope, it's not. There we go. You guys have to be able to see. Okay. All righty. Let's get to the first page. Okay. Love. Okay, I'm just going to show you my favorite ones. I love that, butter, that buttery yellow color. That's like some of my new favorite things. Okay, just one second. I have to hold this up like this. It's hard to show it like that. Okay, that's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, look at how beautiful that is. Love. Oh, let's 
let's see what else. Oh, this is really pretty. I love it. Sorry I have to bring it up like this, you guys. It's hard for me to do it uh, bent down like that. Look how gorgeous that is. I love that. Love that one. So you guys are recognizing a lot of the paper from in my journal. And when I made my little pink planner kit um, for my journal, I'll, I used I basically killed a stack, and I've been wanting to say that forever because I've never killed a stack, but I almost did. So I cut up a bunch of really cute pieces out of this paper line for my planner. That's gorgeous. Okay, now now it's easier for me to bend it because there's not as much paper, so now I can do it. This is my favorite of the whole stack, I think. Gorgeous. Love that. Oh, maybe that's my favorite. I think that is so pretty. Oh, you guys, look at that. So gorgeous. I know somebody would like to make a card card out of for that. I love, I even love it this with the bird cages out of the teal. So pretty. I love that. So, so pretty. Oh my God, I love it. Okay, you guys, that is it. My camera is about to turn off and I don't want that to happen. So anyway, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love for you to do so. Um, if you could give my video a thumbs up, that'd be great. And I will talk to you guys and leave a comment below, please, also. All right, you guys, I'll talk to you guys next video. Bye-bye.